Hello guys, happy Saturday. Today is the 4th of September. As I predicted, everything went down the drain once school started back last week. Um, I had a really, really rough week. You can see my water bottles behind me, ignore it. Yesterday I managed to read a little bit for the first time in a while. I started off my kind of September dark academia thrillery kind of vibe because even though I'm still gonna be reading romances I'm still gonna be like in the romance mood I'm not really in like the rom-com kind of mood I'm in the dark academia autumnal mood so the book I picked up was How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao and I'm very very excited because this book is a very highly anticipated release of mine I read 96 pages of this yesterday I might try finish it today or tomorrow we'll see it's like 290 pages so it's really not that long this book is good. It is good but it's nothing spectacular just yet. It is literally like the carbon copy of Pretty Little Liars so far. So it takes place in this really really prestigious school, like really prestigious. I'm talking about like people would die to get in and they work really really hard and it's very very competitive. It's mostly rich people except two of our main characters got there on a scholarship. So it's about this girl who's called Jamie and she is like the queen bee of the school. She is like the best at everything. She has the richest parents she is like she has everything she's just like the queen bee so yeah we have jamie and then at the start of this book jamie dies she gets killed and we're kind of like trying to piece together what has happened the thing for me that is so similar to pretty little liars is like it's these group of five kids i'm pretty sure five or six kids including jamie were like in this friend group they didn't necessarily all like each other but they were just like in the friend group like the liars and pretty little liars then they kind of like disbanded once jamie kind of found a new group of people and now they're back together after Jamie has died because they're all suspects of her murder because there's like this website and there's like this anonymous person leaving text messages and tips to the police and stuff about Jamie's murder and about like these four kids and their secrets because of course they all have secrets and they're all like trying to keep each other's secrets because Jamie was the only other one who knew their secrets so it's exactly like Pretty Little Liars and I'm thinking if it ends the way Pretty Little Liars ended. I'm talking about like the part with Alison. If it ends like that, I think I'll be bored because I'm like, this is literally just Pretty Little Liars. So I am gonna try continue right now. And yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. I will get back to you later. I have such a headache. I've cried probably for 24 hours this week. Like if you counted up all the hours that I've cried, it would probably equal a full day. So yeah, I'm gonna try read this book, get in the dark academia mood. Yes, my hair is wet, but I'm just gonna leave it. I don't really care. And I will get back to you later. Hello guys, happy Sunday. So it is actually 6 p.m. now on Sunday. I am in my pajamas and in bed, but I actually did go out today. I went out for dinner with a family friend and it was really nice to like catch up and stuff because we hadn't seen each other in a few years. But I'm aiming to finish How We Fall Apart. I have the cover like marking my spot. It's all over the place. I have multiple thoughts about this book, which I will tell you about now, but these thoughts could change based on the ending. So my opinion as of now with this book is that this is basically just Pretty Little Liars. Like it is so, so similar. One of the girls has a relationship with a teacher. The other girl and the Queen Bee, who's now dead, were dating like Emily and Alison in PLL. Like it's just, it's very, very similar. And there's other similarities too. I was looking at the reviews on Goodreads. Nobody really compared them in the reviews. And I'm thinking like, am I crazy? for thinking that they're really similar but they are really similar that being said like i'm really really enjoying the book it's a very fast read very enjoyable i'm loving like the dark academia kind of rich kids competitiveness school vibe i do really like it don't get me wrong like it's not going to get a low rating but it's certainly not like a thriller it's not thrilling at all it is like a ya thriller and i don't think ya thrillers really thrill me all that much but like it's basic but it's fun i'm there for the vibes i'm there for the characters i'm there for like the secrets and the drama really like this i would call this book like a drama instead of a thriller so i have like 90 pages left and i'm gonna sit down and finish those right now and then get back to you when i know more about the ending 
Hello guys, it is now 9 p.m. Please excuse my appearance. I have been crying for a few hours. Not related to the book, however, I did just finish How We Fall Apart and oh, I didn't really like this. Um, like the first half of the book, I, as I said, found so many similarities with Pretty Little Liars. Too many similarities to be original. However, it was good. It was entertaining. It had like that competitive dark academia, rich people drama, kind of just everything in it that was like fun to read about. The ending. The ending was the most ridiculous thing. It did set it up for a book too, which I am excited about because I will probably read it. It was short, it was quick, it was fun. I think I'm gonna give it a three star because is it memorable? No. Was it anything special? No. But did I enjoy my time reading it? Yeah, I did. Except for the last couple pages when the tone just completely changed from like dark academia to like Instagram text, if that makes sense. Like they were talking about like MacBooks and like things like that and I was like but the whole book has been completely different to this anyways I'm tired I don't know if I'm even explaining it right but I'm going to stop talking right now and I'm really proud of myself for finishing a book in September so that is a win I'm gonna go watch a movie with my mom right now and try to de-stress before tomorrow I am here with my witch's brew coffee and I'm very excited for this week. So today is the 20th of September. I can't believe like we're nearly at the end of September already. I'm ready for the spooky vibes. I'm ready for the cozy vibes, even though it's surprisingly warm here for this time of year. I'm not complaining because we have so many months of cold. So we're making the most of it, but I'm definitely ready for some spooky books, some spooky vibes. So let me show you my TBR for this week. I actually have a really, really extensive TBR for this week because I'm in a really big reading mood and I just feel like reading all the books. There are five books on this week's TBR, but there's only two of them that I desperately need to get to. The others can just be like if I actually finish them and get to some other books, but I'm going to show you all five anyways because I like to be ambitious. So let's go. The first book that I am definitely going to be reading is The Atlas Six by Olive Blake. I am buddy reading this with Sophia. We have sectioned off like about 70 ish pages every day to read so today is day one however I did actually read all of today's pages last night when we were on sprints together. I am going to continue with tomorrow's pages today because I do think that I will get busy later in the week and I won't be able to continue but for now this is the book that I'm reading. I'm really really liking this so far. It's definitely something different like it's not something that I've really read before. I will talk more about it later but for right now I'm just gonna show you the books because I need to go so yeah the Atlas Six. Then the other book which I desperately need to get to but don't really want to read is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This is our book club pick for the month of September. I don't know why I don't want to read this because I know I'm gonna love it. It's just because like this is like a summer rom-com and I'm very much in the spooky Halloween autumn mood but hopefully I will get to this. I will love it and hopefully read it fairly fast. I'm taking Sophia's method by um, splitting the book into like sections so I'm hoping to get through these this week which I'm very excited about. Okay guys literally just as I was about to show you the next book on my TBR the postman came and I got two books delivered so you will get a book haul but I'm going to show you the other three books that I was planning on reading. So the first one is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. This is a dark fantasy romance kind of book and I'm actually thinking about buddy reading this with Sophia as well. This is just the week of buddy reads and I'm really excited to read this. I did start this back in like May. I read 64 pages back in May but it definitely wasn't a summer read and I was in the mood to read romances then so I'm very much in the mood to read this. I have bought the fairy loot edition of the sequel so I'm very excited to read this. Then I have another Carrie Maniscalco book I really want to read Hunting Prince Dracula. This is a 500 page book so I don't really know if I'm going to get to it this week but this will probably be my read of next week if I don't get to it this week. This is the second in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series which follows Audrey Rose and Thomas Cresswell as they like navigate the 1800s. I don't know what do you call that? They do autopsies and they like examine bodies and stuff but Jack the Ripper is going around making killings so they're trying to like solve the murders and then at the end they get an opportunity to go to Romania to solve more murders or to study at like an autopsy school. I know there's a word for anatomy. Anatomy. Yes? No? I don't know. Then the final book on this TBR and spoilers for the fairy loot from Blood and Ash edition if you don't want to see the edition. It is from Blood and Ash 
first of all look at this beautiful book i'm so obsessed and i cannot wait to read this again i did read this for the first time back in january and i loved it so much but i'm actually in the mood to read it again i don't know why maybe it's because i got the edition maybe it's because i just miss the kind of the comfort of reading this book but now i've just gotten two books and i know that these are two spooky books that i've ordered so they may be on this tbr as well we'll see okay so let's open these i'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with this one. I do know what they are, but I'm very excited. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, yes. So first of all, we have these ugly bookmarks again. Book depository. Get your act together. So the first book that I have is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. This is a big paperback, um, which I don't usually like, but it is floppy, so I can deal. I can deal with it. Basically what this is about is about this girl who decides that she wants to get into a stranger's car to go somewhere. So she gets into the car with a serial killer. Now, I'm guessing that maybe he isn't a serial killer, or maybe there's something else to it, because otherwise it will be a very boring thriller if there's no twists at all. So yeah, it's just like her trying to survive the night in a car with a killer. And I'm very excited. I tend to really like books that take place in like a 24 hour period, because I feel like you can't put them down because you just keep wanting to know what happens next and what happens next. I'm not really in the thriller mood because I didn't really have any that I was so, so excited for, but this definitely, definitely has made me in the mood to read a thriller. Then we have this package, which I struggled to get this book so much, but I'm so glad I finally have it. And the book is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. I am so, so excited for this book. Like in this book, the witches have like elemental powers in order to keep the seasons in check. So like there's like a winter witch, summer witch, autumn witch, spring witch, but our main character is like all of them put together. And I know that this book deals on climate change and what happens like when the seasons are starting to like get messed up and they have to like try and fix it and this just looks so amazing. I heard so many great things about it. It reminds me so much of Sweet and Bitter Magic because they're witches. I love witches so much. Hang on. Look at this. Look at this. Hey guys, okay, so it is actually nearly midnight right now, but I decided it would be a good time to give you more of my thoughts on this book. So just to quickly explain what this book is about, because if you're like me, you've seen this book everywhere, you've seen people raving about it, but you don't actually know what it's about. So, so think kind of like magicians, magical-esque, kind of like magical realism, but also kind of like science-y kind of magic. And basically this book is what if the Library of Alexandria never burned down, but there's instead these kind of like magical guardian kind of things. And basically in this book, this guy recruits the top six magical people. I don't know what they're called. We're just going to call them magicians in the world and they need to enter a competition to become the Atlas Five. But this is called the Atlas Six because there's six candidates and then one of them doesn't make it. So it is basically a competition of all these six people. We're finding out things about these people. It is so lyrical. It's like, I don't know, there's something about it that I've never really read before. I'm on page 78 and I'm gonna read a little bit now before Bisma calls me because it is so late or her schedules are just not aligning right now because of school and stuff but she's gonna facetime me in a few minutes so i'm gonna read until then hello guys happy tuesday so it is now tuesday afternoon and i am reading the atlas six so i just got up to today's stopping point which i am so happy with even though i probably will read some more this evening just to like get ahead but i did just reach today's stopping point so i'm on page 150 here's the thing like i am loving this book i love the characters i'm loving getting to see more about the characters i'm loving to get to see more about their powers and stuff because it's a very unique book, a very unique world, a very unique magic system because all of the magics are completely different. Like there's not like one type of magic, but there's not really anything happening. Like there's not been any like trials. There's, I thought there were gonna be like trials or tests and someone gets eliminated. There's nothing like that. Um, I do have one theory for someone who may possibly end up not being a good person. Also, I really am uninterested in one of the POVs in this book. Cal 
Callum just holds no interest to me at all. I don't know why. I just don't really like him. I think he's very much entitled, which is the worst part about reading like a split POV book because because when you're not interested in a certain person's perspective, it kind of just makes those chapters quite boring. Also the fact that there are kind of like things mentioned in here that have no explanation. Like we're just finding out about um Nico's friend Gideon and his mother, but like I don't even know what they are. I don't know what the relevance is. Like we don't have any background on that. We're just supposed to kind of know when a woman appeared in the bathtub. Like what the fuck? I am liking it. I'm definitely living for like the gothic dark vibes. However, because my mind is just kind of like working over time, I am not really concentrating that much. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna do some yoga and some stretching and just like trying to move and get myself a little bit like more woken up. And then I'm gonna have a shower and continue reading. But I'm almost halfway through. That is good. I'm really liking it. Really enjoying buddy reading with Soph as well because we both kind of have the same thoughts. So I can't differentiate between Tristan and Callum, like their powers. Um, I think some of the things in here haven't been very thoroughly explained and I'm kind of like confused on some of the points. So I have some things tabbed and I have some things tabbed at the top as well. Hello besties, happy Thursday. So it is later in the week. I can't even remember the last time that I talked to you, but safe to say I don't think I've actually read anything since then. I had a really, really bad day yesterday and I didn't read anything, but I'm back. I'm ready to be in the reading mood again and I'm hoping to finish the Atlas 6 today. That is very ambitious because I have got like almost 200 pages left. However, I really want to because The Legacy by Ellie Kennedy, which is like the spin-off off-campus book like the final off-campus book that is coming tomorrow and I really just want to drop everything and read that over the weekend. If I don't get this finished today, I will hopefully finish it tomorrow morning before the legacy arrives. Hey guys, okay, so I'm coming on here to end out this vlog. It occurred to me that I never ended out this video. It was kind of a chaos video for the start of September, but I hope you liked it. I did read a couple Dark Academia books and just a final update, I did finish the Atlas 6. You will see more of my final thoughts in a 24 hour readathon vlog that I've done. I don't know if it's up before that or not, but I just wanted to say that any of the negative things Things that I said about this book, ignore them. This is now my favorite book of all time, on par with The Nightingale. I loved it so much, six out of five stars. What happened was me and Sophia joined some sprints on Friday night and we were on the exact same page when we joined the sprints, which was absolutely crazy. And we read together for eight and a half hours. We didn't read for eight and a half hours straight, like we did talk in between, but we finished this together. We read the same passages at the same time and reacted the same. It was the best reading experience that I've ever had. It was so fun and the theories that we had and the revelations that we had, especially towards the end, were just phenomenal. I do go into a 10 minute rant in my 24 hour readathon vlog so I'm not going to say any more on this but all you need to know is go pick this up if I can convince you to read one book. It is this one. I love it with my whole entire heart and I will recommend it forever. I loved it so much. So that is all that I read in this video. I'm going to end this now because I'm going to start a new vlog. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me as I kind of readjust to my new schedule. Thank you so much for watching. Stay amazing, stay kind and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.